looking a bit crazy. Hey everyone, so today I am going to be DIYing slash making my own outfit. So I've got my I've got a pair of old jeans which I bought from Big W Big W for like two dollars um ages ago and I thought that I would change them because number one I don't like blue jeans I'm a black jeans white jeans kind of person and I thought I'd make them edgy and cool well at least try to um and I've also got this top that I wore um in creative generations when I was in grade seven that still fits me <laughs> and yeah, it's got a few like paint stuff on it, which you know I don't mind. It. It's kind of cool, kind of different. But I thought that I would like crop it so and make it like almost make it um go with the jeans. And I also wanted to be able to go with my punk skirt that I bought from Dangerfield. Um, because I don't really have a top to go with that. So yeah, hopefully that top will go. Hopefully that top will go with both of the bottoms. Um, so yeah, let's just get DIYing. Okay, so I just asked my mum what to do and she said there might be instructions on the inside of the box. So I opened the inside of the box and there are instructions on it. So if you're ever dyeing your clothes and you don't know that, there might be instructions on the inside of your box. No, I'm trying to, <clears throat> I accidentally pressed something here too. Okay, so I just put a cup of salt and then this packet in. Salt. <clears throat> That's a lot of salt. What does salt do when dyeing clothes? Okay, so why are my jeans in the washing machine, machine, machine dyeing? <laughs> um, I don't think that's how you say it. That sounded weird, but okay. My, while my jeans are in the washing machine, I'm now going to go to my room and get started on the shirt. So let's go. Okay, so I've lined the shirts up as like evenly as I can. So I'm going to leave like two, a couple centimetres. Um, because I am going to be putting elastic and like folding it. So yeah, and it also leaves me with some like space, some aerospace. So I'm just going to start cutting and these are like good fabric scissors, which, oh my goodness, holy cow, nearly poked my eye out. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to start cutting. There's like a bit of a chunk missing there, but this is going to be saved for the jeans. Because I'm going to need that for the jeans. You're gonna have to wait until the final reveal before you can see it. So now I'm just going to have to do the pants. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is I've got the jeans on and I've got this extra bit of material from the what do you call it? The t-shirt, and I'm gonna be doing the elastic thing. So I'm just measuring to see how much the material 
plus I'm going to add like an extra couple centimeters just so when I fold it it's not too short because I want it to be above my belly button because I wear sights like these that I just like to not show. Okay so I have I have put the elastic in the like bottom of the shirt and now I'm going to attach it to the jeans but I'm gonna have to hand sew it because I can't use a sewing machine on it because the material's too thick. What was that? Oh, it's taking forever. Okay, so I'm trying the jeans on currently, and this is what they look like so far. This is what it looks like so far, and I don't know if I love it or hate it. Because it's kind of cool. I don't really know. Okay, so now I think I'm going to do the back pockets and stick the materials I wanted on, and also like cut one of the pockets that I wanted to cut. Okay, so for the back pocket, I'm going to stick some red stripes on one and then cut one and put like a uh, material underneath so I'm going to do that and I'm not going to like stitch them on I think I'm going to just super glue them just for now I might like sew them on once we get a sewing like a needle that's um, for the sewing machine that is good for um... actually no this material's a bit thin I might be able to I don't know I might glue and stitch or something. We'll see.